So yeah guys, I'm back and yeah, right now I'll show you that how you can make your character jump. I have uh, redone all the step and I have uh, loaded up my startup file again. So if I drag this all, as you can see, no keyframing because uh, there is there no, there is no keyframe. So again, open up the visual selector and now let's get back to how you can make it jump and afterwards uh, the best part uh, of this tutorial, which is how you can make it throw weapon, any weapon you want. So um, to make it jump, here you're gonna again make sure the auto keyframing button is pressed. Select the body, pan down a bit. You're gonna just uh, adjust the right foot and the left foot uh, to make it look like it's it's ready to jump. And I'm just gonna quickly do that. By the way, again, you need to spend more time on it because, of course, it, it, it's just currently looking pretty horrible. And but I'm actually uh, just showing you, and of course, you need to spend more time on it, so it's gonna be more awesome. So that pretty much looks like it's ready to jump. And now let's skip this to 20 frames, and now again select this body icon and use the green button to drag it up and. Uh, use the right foot like uh, to give it an impact that it's just uh, in the air and enjoying pretty much of itself <laughs> yeah something like that like, yeah. you know pretty random uh, but you know if you haven't seen anybody jumping then it's gonna be pretty uh, difficult for you to pray by the way he took it looks like it wants to be never mind uh, yeah something like that I don't know I don't know but uh, yeah so if I just go back you'll see it pretty much looks like it wants to jump but in between I guess uh, I need to pan the body a bit more just like that uh, make sure your uh, arrow position is set is selected make the body pan a bit more and now it looks like it's jumping uh, okay that's a fit okay never mind so I've shown you the basic frame of how you can make it jump so do that by yourself because of course uh, I need to teach you alongside with animating so it's gonna be a bit difficult for me but of course spend more time on it and uh, yeah by the way, if you're thinking that I'm not a good animator, let me show you something else that I've created up for, uh, uh, I guess, the retro block intro. Uh, let me navigate that. I've created something epic with this jumping jack tutorial. So let me show you that where it is. Backflip, and I've created an amazing backflip. So let me show you that real quick what I've created. So this is one of the retro blocks intro. And um, yeah, I am entering in the contest, contest, and it's gonna be amazing. So, yeah, this is what I made for his animation, and as you can see, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, practice makes a man perfect. So keep on practicing, and one day you'll be able to create nice animations like this. So let me load my startup file once again. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have said that. Woo! Don't stare at my computer. So yeah, so now we're done. We have uh, uh, we have done animating our character. Like we we now know that how you can how we can make it walk, how we can make it one, how we can do the basic keyframing, and how we can make it jump. So now it comes up to the best part of the tutorial, which is how you can make it throw weapons. And let's do that. So first of all, of course, along with this rig, you're gonna need weapons. And to do that, uh, of course, go back to Minecraft uh, or Weedline forum. Uh, just scroll down until you find this item pack and download it. And I have provided a link specifically to download that item pack. So download it first. That's a metafire link. I use Minara to extract it and then paste it on your library browser in sin 140 folder you're gonna get uh, where is the item pack yeah you're gonna get your file like this you're gonna play this into cinema 40 uh, library and browser so now 
when you're done with this uh, close down cinema 4d reopen it go to content browser uh, never mind it was my error not yours go click on this minecraft item pack select on tools and select anything you want let me shrink it down so that you can see what's happening around and I'm feeling pretty tired so let's select the sword double click on that and you will see sword will come up here just select that go to coordinates uh, I'm gonna select all the size as 0.7 because I guess it's a pretty pretty big and yeah so like the sword and we're gonna just drag it down to our stuff by the way some of the rigs have uh, auto sword function like the weed lion paid rig uh, weed lion paid rig has auto uh, sword function but for all those people who cannot afford the paid rig uh, I mean I'm doing this actually with uh, free rigs so that you can do it this with every single rig that you want. So I'm actually placing it uh, to some suitable position. Let me rotate it down a bit. Uh, whoa. Yeah. Something like that. Again. Oh my god. I'm tired of it. So now it pretty much looks like it's in its hand. So now we're gonna use a function just uh, in Cinema 4D. Select your sword. Go to tags. Uh, corrector tags and select constraint. Now open up your Steve main rig, uh, bones, arms. Select the right hand. Uh, I know the position. I know the location of the right hand in my Steve rig uh, I keychain. So if you don't know, just individually select the joints until you find the hand on which you want to put your flat or which you want to put your uh, sword. So now don't close it down click on this constraint expression icon until you get something like that S uh, take PSR go to PSR tab and now uh, drag your right hand uh, joint to the target and now it's gonna look a bit blunder so uh, select your right hand and rotate it a bit that you can you in this way you'll be able to adjust the sword once again um, so let me do that pretty quick oh no um, pretty messed up okay so that looks fine a bit of course give it more time or maybe that that's not fine even yeah something like that so so now if I move my right hand you'll see the sword move with it and it's pretty much what I wanted to do so now it comes to how you can make it anyway so select the auto key framing button uh, I'm gonna go to 10 frames ahead actually at zero frames I'm gonna just uh, do a bit like that so it's keyframed so I'm gonna go to 10 frames raise its hand a bit oh my god that looks horrible something like that go to 15 frames I'm gonna drag its hand downwards so, so that it looks like it's drawing the weapon oh my god so it's gonna look something like that pretty much bad but uh, spend more time on it and now uh, after that we're gonna uh, select that constraint tab and go make sure you're at 15 frames and uh, Press Ctrl on your keyboard and click on this in order to keyframe this. this. And now go to 16 frames, uh, select this arrow, make it clear, and again keyframe it. So you're gonna add 16 frames. Uh, this sword's not gonna be in its hand. So just keyframe the position of the sword here just keyframe the position of the sword here and now at 30, 40 frames uh, just drag it forward make sure you're at 40 frames or any frames that you want just drag it forward so it looks like it's going forward so now it's gonna be something like that of 
course you're gonna spend more time because that's fail so now that is how you make your character uh, hold a weapon to move with it and you can also release that at particular uh, particular time so that you can animate it throwing some weapons and one more thing uh, as a tip you can rotate your sword so it looks like more natural so now if I just re uh, play it you'll see it looks like something like that of course this point needs to be done and yeah one more thing I forgot to mention just like your right hand and go to 40 frames uh, and or any frame that you want and make your hand go down a bit so it looks more natural so now if you play this it's gonna look more natural so the hands not as you can see the hands not gonna stop after it has released the sword this is gonna look more natural in my point of view and yeah that is how you make your character throw the sword so yeah so yeah hey guys I'm back and yeah we're at the last part of uh, our amazing tutorial which is how you can render your stuff your animation in HD in different formats to be used like uh, whatever you want so this is the animation that we made uh, in this same tutorial and now in order to render it out just click on this bold button type of stuff uh, go to output tab select your width as 1 to 8 0 select your height as 720 20 if you're a 720p user uh, frame rate and other stuff we're not going to change that so this is pretty important so if you're animating uh, your uh, animating something like it, if it's like a movie then you have to select the frames like from which frame to which frame that you want to render out so uh, of course the start's going to be at zero and and is up to you so as you can see uh, after 40, 40 frames we have no anime no uh, animation no keyframing so we're gonna uh, select this 2 to 40 frames it can be anything for you frame step 1 don't change this now go to effect select ambient inclusion click on effect and select global illumination go to sampling tab select the set low samples low third tab record density low and one more thing for global illumination you require light uh, which I have placed as you can see uh, this is the light ray coming so you need light and these effects basically gonna decrease your render time so it's pretty important so now uh, let's check our last step which is save uh, so you, there are different formats AVI movie or other things so if you haven't installed quick time and if you want you want to render this out in the form of movie format like if you don't want a transparent background behind your animation then you're gonna uh, select the format as AVI movie and but but yeah let me hear one let let do well, yeah here one more thing if you want to have a transparent background behind your animation then select the format as PNG because none of the video format uh, has a transparent background so in order to get a transparent background uh, behind your animation so that you can use in different intros uh, you need to select the format as PNG and make sure the alpha channel is checked and one more thing for the PNG format of course uh, if your animation is going to be exported out in different picture frames so uh, yeah you need to create a separate folder for that so that you know, yeah something like that you know it's gonna uh, export your stuff something like that in different picture frames so you need to create a new folder so that you don't get messed up so just uh, yeah create a new folder real quick something like that name it anything you want you can select the open that up you can select the file name anything for example tutorial and save it as like that so now we're done with it make sure the output channel is checked and one more time if you, you if you want to be exported in one single movie not in frames select this as AVI movie but if you want to have a transparent background then select this at PNG and I will show you how you can put all these frames together so that you can make one single movie with a transparent background so yeah make sure the channel is checked and select this uh, window button 
and wait for it to render out. So you can see it's rendering. And yeah, I'll come back after it renders uh, every single frame out. So yeah, you can see that right here. So it's rendering every frame. And we'll meet again. So yeah guys, I'm back. As you can see, I have rendered out all my frames. Let me show you where they are. And um, in the new folder, let's open this uh, that up. And as you can see, all my video is actually uh, cut down into different frames. So uh, the render time and all the stuff is going to depend upon your animation and your frames. So yeah, that's up for this uh, pretty advanced tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, it's gonna it's pretty long, but of course, it has more detail. And it, I hope that I've showed you every single step. Uh, and yeah, one more thing: if you want to know how you can use these type of transparent background animations in your intro, uh, like uh, or like uh, if you want to have a tutorial on how you can actually create a 3D uh, animations Minecraft intro so yeah a tutorial on that is coming up very soon so till then practice a lot uh, stay tuned uh, make your animation and yeah I'll come back with another amazing tutorial showing you that how you can actually uh, animate and create a nice looking intro of your own using these 3D animations uh, in After Effects so yeah Thanks guys for watching, stay tuned, uh, goodbye, you're awesome.